Hey guys, this is Firox for HUSNG.com. Uh, today I'll be doing the last part of my Leak Finder series, which is part 8. Um, it's been a couple of months since I released the video, um, and during that time I focused primarily on 6 Max Pot Limit Omaha. Uh, you can check out my 2 plus 2 thread if you want to catch up on that. Um, today I'll be reviewing games played at the $20 level level on the merge network. As you can see their hyper turbo uh, structure is a bit different but it starts at uh, 25 big blinds which is the same as stars. Um, so let's go. So we make a pretty standard defense with 10-8 and we flop a gutter on a high rainbow board. Um, we're faced with a very small seabed. Uh, I, th I think uh, both calling and raising small are good options here. Uh, if he's betting a hand like ace high, uh, a low pocket pair, or just a random air hand, um, a check raise to like 200 should make him fold. Uh, we would risk 200 to win 300, and we almost always have uh, like 16% equity when called, thanks to our gutter. Um, we choose to go with the more passive uh, route, which is something I don't really mind early on. Um, we pick up a pair, turn goes check check. I think value betting the river would be a bit thin here, but it, it might be profitable if we bet small enough. I think betting something like 80. Um, make sure we get called by a 7, a 5, or maybe even ace high sometimes. Uh, we decide to check, which is okay, and like I said, I think it's close. Uh, and he had a uh, queen deuce. So I think we should uh, be paying attention to his bet sizing uh, on the flop, um, and if he uses like smaller, like a bigger sizing next time, then it might mean he has a hand. Um, we raise uh, ace deuce and we get jammed on. I don't really mind raising here, especially after saying in the first hand that this is probably a weaker player. So he limps and we choose to raise. Uh, I don't really like isolating with the 9-3. I don't think it's going to work very well for us. Um, there's actually a pretty big difference between 9-3 and 9-6 for example in terms of how often you flop some equity. So while I don't mind raising like low suited hands I do think we should uh, be raising some better hands. Flop comes down uh, 6 5 four, rainbow. Uh, we don't know a lot about his limping range uh, yet but typically he should have at least a gutter with over cards here a lot um, and it doesn't hit our perceived range at all um, so if we didn't have the open-ended draw I would typically give up here but uh, as it is um, with our equity I like betting so yeah fortunately for us we, we take it down on the flop so we raise 7-6 and get 3 bet again, this time uh, non all in so that's just a standard fold uh, 6 deuce, standard fold again um, I'm not sure I, I like raising 7-5 here given that we've been 3 bet 2 out of 3 times uh, I think I would try to tighten up just a little bit and maybe, maybe limp this hand uh, but we do get away with it Uh, jamming over a limp with a uh, pocket pair, pretty standard. Um, so we flop mid pair on a very wet board. Um, I think I would like to see a check back here and a, del a delayed C bet if he checks to us on the turn. Uh, we C bet and get called. The turn is another 8. 
I don't expect uh, many queen x in our opponent's range. I should often, often raise the flop um, with those hands, given the texture. Um, so I wouldn't hate a bet here at all. I would probably bet. Um, yeah, ten nine or better here, and I think checking back with uh, with nine five is good. So we get led into for less than half pot on the river. Um, I think nothing we can do but call here. His range should consist of um, missed hearts, um, ten seven, king jack, king ten, and then some eight x and a few like queen x going for value. Um, we should be good here more than thirty three percent of the time, and we need only. 24% to make the call so yeah uh, I like the call and we we chop with a kind of weirdly played 10-9 uh, like I'm not sure what he's trying to accomplish um, betting the river so I would take a note here that our opponent is betting merged meaning he bets uh, he bets uh, with hands that are not really value bets, but are also not really bluffs. Um, it actually makes a pretty big difference because in that case your weak bluff catchers get uh, devalued because of, because of that and on the other hand your good bluff catchers um, actually go up in value because they beat the, the merged part of his range. So like like for example in this river spot um, if we have a hand like uh, like pocket sevens for example then while it, it might be a bluff catcher against some players it will not be a good bluff catcher against him but on the other hand if we have a hand like uh, ace nine then it becomes more of a snap call in this scenario because of him betting like uh, yeah, 10 9. So he limps again and we check back ace 3 uh, suited. I think I would ship it pre flop. Uh, we've seen him raise two times and limp three times. So I think his limping range should be pretty weak in general. Um, and on this flop, I think uh, just check folding is going to be best. We have a pretty good hand, and yeah, we want to see a bit here, I think. We see a bit on the smaller side, he calls, um, turn is a blank for the most part, except that he, it brings a flush draw. Um, we decide to fire the second barrel, I think that's fine. Uh, he should mostly have middle pair or worse and it would be quite tough for him to call down um, most rivers would be an over card to, to the 7 um, yeah and yeah we have uh, we have 6 outs against uh, mid pair hands he calls again rivers an ace and yeah I think we should follow through here I don't like this check. Um, I'm always betting here if I bet the turn. Uh, I think giving up on the turn is a lot better than firing the turn and giving up on the river. So yeah, um, if, if you're not going to fire on, on this river then I don't think we should be betting the turn. So let's see what he had. And he had a A6 so we would have lost our stack if we played the hand properly but I still think uh, we should chop the river because like if he, he has a6 here then he has queen 6, jack 6 and basically every other 6 if he calls twice with it um, then yeah we should have more than enough fold equity on the river we choose to min raise 
10 8. That's a fine hand to limp, but yeah, raising is fine. We get called civet kind of small, which is okay on this texture. Um, and here, raise is kind of big, and yeah, nothing we can do. Uh, we jam 10 iron suited over limp. I think that's going to be quite profitable against this opponent who seems to be limping a wide range. So we limp king 6. Um, this is a hand I prefer raising with. It has some blocker value with the king and it doesn't really play too well post flop. Um, so I would probably just raise it. Um, we stab the flop, which is good, and our opponent seems to be um, quite active recently and forces us to fold again. Um, yeah, jamming is fine. I don't mind raising smaller with king queen here for value, um, but yeah, I mean, jamming is alright. Yeah, easy raise call, and we get it in pretty good. And we scoop the pot. Raising queen four suited is fine. Easy jam with pocket fours. And snap call with ace queen, get it in pretty good again. Sweet. So let's move on to the next match.